So it was a it was a good setup class, I think, what Francesco did, because I wanted to talk about hook sweep anyway. Uh, hook sweep, and there's a there's a thing I call unsweepable. Other people have called it the same, but I did it way earlier. Yeah, but it's just a fun name that when already like years ago, I don't know, and just it's when you say it unsweepable, it's like you know, un, uh, there's untappable and. I think John Kavanagh called it some old SPG camp was untappable, and you can call it un turn over able, you know. Or today we're gonna do like a very late version of unsweepable that, uh, let's say, there's early, there's mid, there's the late. Uh, we have also names for those things early as Elvis. Uh, in a stand up sweep, maybe I will tell you what Elvis is. Uh, there's another class that we do stand-up sweeps, uh, unsweepable. Then we have a butt sprawl, and then we have a forest. And forest means like run, forest, run. Yeah, that's very, very fun class to teach, actually. Super annoying. And if you know Rustam Shishev, one of the very, very annoying and very good grappler, that's what he does to everybody. He just runs away, and then he comes back and just, again, super annoying, we roll with him. So it's kind of going away. So we, we name them all, it's kind of fun. But today is, uh, we take a hook sweep. I will want to see, like, I will give you different options. There's like, you know, not gazillion sweeps, but there's maybe five to 10 different grips you can take. They don't matter. And we take the very late options that I don't want you to land flat. And I don't, I don't want you to give up underhooks when you land. And I want you to be able to land just to be conscious. These, those things still happen to me, but the idea is that fights are won and lost in transition. And even if you get swept, it will happen to you in jiu-jitsu. Then you will fall in a place where it's easier to continue. And if you do a once one mistake, you fall. That's a mistake. And if you give up cross-face underhooks and all those things, seat belts, you do three, four, five mistakes in a row. And then you lose the right to say jiu-jitsu is complicated. Because having done five mistakes in a row, and then you get beat or somebody taps you, that's, you deserve that. Because uh, the, you know that's what happens if you do so many mistakes in a row. So my, my thing is right now I want to make you aware. I want to cancel that lock flow or the technique flow. I, you accept one mistake. Oh, I, I, fall, I fall. And what to do then? How to cancel that sequence and just get back to the, not to neutral but better side control. So they end up having not so much control. And that's usually the underhook stuff is usually the first thing when I roll with somebody. That's the, when I get to top. Uh, and then it's like, just don't give me underhooks. And then YouTube works. It's just everything works. So if you give me underhooks, there's Darces, Marces, Barces, Larces, Kimuras, Tarika Plata, seat belts, everything is there right away. Back, back exposure takes. So just avoid, just don't give underhooks, and then things are easier. So this is what I promote. And then I'm, I'm OK also doing late escapes, later stuff, and you get more stuck. But my, my thing is I want to give you a choice that you can be early. And it's okay to be late. And then you play with them. With different opponents, with beginners, you're more late because it's more fun, you know, because you're good, you want to feel more danger. With your level guy, you try to be more early because giving them more stuff is dangerous because they will punish you. So I want to give you a choice. Yeah, so, and overrun your software uh, to give you different habits. Anyway, uh, so think about any hook sweep, so to speak. Uh, already Francesco did it, so that was good. Uh, hook sweep. You can have a Marcelo style, like a neck and elbow, like I do it usually, like just go. You can have an underhook, overhook. You can have two overhooks, you know, as a sweep. You can have just, you know, deep underhook and a wrist, and then you go. And so think about hook sweep. I just get you in a mindset. Think about the hook sweep that I know that you like, you know, and maybe just you try different options. Just one hook sweep, one side. You don't have to do both sides. Just get the mindset. And then think about also while you're falling, while you do the sweep, and think about how do you land? What do you expect when you land? Also as a top person, because this is about finishing sweeps also, this class, this is both actually. And then think about the guy that, or girl, or it, yeah? If you fall, think about how would you fall? If they just fall, why would you fall flat? Why would you end up having like underhooks and cross face everything and just, how would we the better way to fall? And so I would not give everything away. I would have a fighting chance, yeah? So just have that kind of that telepathic conversation with each other, like a three to five minutes, switch on your own, and play around and just notice things, why you do them, you know? 
and just have a question. So maybe there's a better way. And then I will show you the answer. And even maybe you have time to drill. I would do it more like a class I would do in my gym. That it's a very easy topic. So I would have all drills and feedbacks. And I will show differently what I did my first class, so anacondas. So uh, yeah, so try. So hook flip, whatever grips, one side, your favorite side. Monitor both. And then have a discussion or whatever, three, five minutes, and then br I will bring you back in. Let's go. You can do the Francesco stuff, overhooks, underhooks. So, uh, so, 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 we land on uh, the late stuff. There's, you know, there's also hitch hitchhike would be like run, forest, run. But right now we just land, I don't want you to land flat. So with different grips, you have underhooks, overhooks, they give you different controls. Let's say underhook is harder to get in a way if people are very you know, stubborn. So if you have a better control, you will have a better landing in sweeps, yeah, so to speak. That, and, but they are harder to get. So you also have, a, have to have a, like a hook sweep with certain like a neck grip and mar I, I call it Marcelo style. So like neck, uh, necktie and elbow and then just go. It's super fast, super loose. And the ending is also harder to control. So there's a trade-offs. So you have to have kind of both. It's, if you always do underhooks with, with a hook sweep with underhook and overhook, they're very frustrating sometimes. And if you just have a very defensive person, then it's hard to get them. So have that different variation when you when you have that sweep. And it's a good sweep to have. You can do it like Francesco did it in kind of those kind of laying back and side control stuff. You can do it butterfly guard. So it's very versatile stuff, and it's you could call it it's fundamental. So now I'm just asking you to land on Baby Bridge and nothing else. And the, even I don't show you stuff. I want you to suffer. And uh, I want you to try because Francesco talked about Baby Bridge and I can show you what it is. You know, you do this. Yeah. So, and I want you to do it on your own. I want you to try and fail because then you build context and then I can explain what it is. And then the pro also the, what I want you to have. They do a sweep, they can do it fast or slow. It depends how you, you know, if you're better, you can do it faster also. But then try to get your arms to yourself back. During transitions, when you fall, try to get your arms back. Like whatever it is, whatever it means to you, don't hurt anybody, you know, just punch them in the face and get your arm back. But try to, if you fall, how do would you get your arm back? This way, you can circle this way, you can circle this, just land and land in a baby bridge and maybe you just ping your arms here. So you not end up in a cross face underhook and then everything is hard. And it's usually as a beginner why, why it's important because things in transition, you kind of lost in sometimes, you know, you're in top, you're not in bottom and it's orientation is different now. It's like, how do you, what, what's next? How do I escape? Where's the safe point? You have to right away know what to do. So uh, I will give you those, my idea is that you have those trenches when you fall and you have trench and you just shut everything down what they can do. Basically, just they're on top. Yes, they got that, but nothing else. And you're gonna like, okay, I'm here. Uh, what to do next? Where's the frames? Okay, and then you go. You need that extra time to think. And then if you're better, you would you would not need that, and you would have a right away reaction. Why not? But as a beginner, we, we need those things, those seconds, to get our mindset together. Where are we? What grips they have? How do we solve this puzzle now? And so we need those pauses in a fight. So that's why I'm emphasizing that. So think about. You can try baby reach on your own. So just go like, just feel what it is. Yeah, and then do a sweep and try to land and nothing else. Don't escape, don't go belly down, don't nothing, yeah? And try to bring your arms in. Think about even pummeling, just land and try to. And then I show you my version, whatever. So we pick certain grips and I will explain you this. Okay, so somebody's phone is that, you can have a maybe like a turn, turn off or something. Or if it's important, then I guess so, okay? There's some messages coming. So. Anyway, uh, so try it again, three, four minutes. And I expect you to fail and go like, what the hell just, I don't know. Enjoy that, switch a lot. And then I will show you how to do it. Okay, let's go. Uh, so also, I was, I was uh, my fault. Some things are your faults that I point them out. It's <laughs> your fault. And some things are my fault. So I have to take responsibility also. So try to still finish the sweep, you know, like slowly and not like let them go and baby reach. That's maybe one version, but then sweep and go after them also. Maybe it's a mount, maybe it's a, like a side control here, or also what also Francesco showed you to go other, other side side control. So try to also finish the sweep, so to speak, but they're in charge of you know, getting their things back, but you know, that's their turn. You don't want to win, you want to teach. 
but you create an environment where they can, you know, play this, so to speak. If you just don't follow them, they have too much space and they don't understand how to actually do it. Really. Okay? So try to follow a bit also. And also, yes, the, the, the reference, least, the, the, there's a legend why it's called Baby Bridge. Is first of all, I, I would usually say it two ways. I I, I consider it. Uh, first of all, it's a, it's the smallest bridge you can do without lifting the hip. So it's a baby bridge, yeah. So you can have a, and I don't like. Yeah, it's only think about if you if I call bridge, people are bridge. Bridge is here. Bridge. Think about bridge is an arch. So bridge is also this. And think about them. Um, um, I'm doing the dome with my body. If I just move around, it's all bridge. But it's also lowest bridge, so it's a, you can if you visualize it's like a dome here with a bridge. So not only up is possible, and that's you know missing. Everybody's just bridging up all the time. So and the baby bridge is also why because that's how apparently I don't have kids right now. So that's how apparently kids turn around. You know, they go like this and they lead with the head, and that's the first thing they do. And you actually, as a parent, they have told me that you have to use force to keep them down because that bridge yeah, yeah. is kind of. You know, like, like they're going. And so I think it was Bjorni or somebody you know, from Iceland, I think he will call it like Baby Bridge, that his kid has been doing this for ages and all that. That's Baby Bridge. You know, very, because, you know, kids can squat and Baby Bridge, they have those, you know, functional movement patterns right away. They, they know somehow. And then we forgot, you know. So, um, I usually get, let's go. So, uh, so, 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 I have a parasitic word to the sweep. To the sweep, butterfly. What kind of grips you want? Okay, so go. And so I'm here. Yeah. I just this is I can go other side also, but this is up and I have meat. And now my arms I don't go top. I don't like this. And now it's like I'm outside. It's like I, I have to get inside again because all YouTube works here. Yeah. If they lift the leg, lift the leg. You have a plata or everything else, triangles. Everything is there. I don't like that. Go back. So I just want you to be like just shut everything down and then you can have a mount i think even side control is easier for me at least but mount you have a frame and a hip or something doesn't matter but are you not flat you're not getting your arm exposed and it's very hard for them to continue attacking you they have to go like slow down and start to again like open you up so you have time to think whatever you want to do whatever escape is there just shut everything down so one more run i'm here i made a mistake Boom. Yeah, so wait, so there's a mount, and also they can go, what, what happens mostly, it goes this side, side control. So this, so I, I'm just staying here. Yeah, all is good, they stop, yeah, be there. They usually don't come up, because if they come up, this arm becomes an underhook here, yeah? Mm -hmm. So mostly they put the hip on a mat, they're staying here, there's no underhook, they can climb up, cross face won't work, I'm totally fine, there's no me flattening me out right now, yeah? If I would have this, there's more weight right away and everything is more messed up and I would do that if I have I have to if I want to have a better high if I you know I know they're good or something I want to test something I want to get out of the, the, the deeper trouble I will accept that high and then it's like ah oh, fun I get out but as an option if you're even fights I will not give you this because I will respect the attack so much that I will expect one mistake and not more and he actually learns to sweep people because other way he will expect the wrong future. If you expect to sweep and then under cross face like you usually see in YouTube, that means his future is uh, unrealistic mostly. And uh, then I do baby bridge and then he thinks that he's, that is his fault that he didn't get underhook and cross face. And then, then you know, ah, I'm, I'm stupid, I didn't get it, it's my fault. No, it's, you're, you're not meant to get it. It's exception to get it. It happens, but it should, be, you know, not like 1% exception, but it's a, compared to other stuff that will happen, it's exception. So that's how I treat it. And this, when they know this, they're not mad at themselves. Ah, oh, I messed up. No, this is what you should expect. Yeah, and then we fight from there. Because you expect the good guy to do a one mistake and not, you know, three in a row. Yeah, it happens when I'm tired and I gave up and there's a breaking point. Yeah, so, so we have talked about it like, uh, in Francesco's point. So it's just, then people give up and then you get stuff. Okay, so one more time. And also, what can happen then, I don't want you to jump other side because they will confuse you because then we have to talk about hawking. So, go. Because, other side. Go, jump other side. Then I go here. 
Because now the elbow is gone, nothing's there, I'm not pinned, but then I have to teach you that quick. So what, what, what combines very nicely is this and this, they're opposites. Yeah, so I can have baby bridge and I can have tucked in position and this is important, this and this, and you just, usually they're there. And then underhooks, no stuff, no kimuras, because the, this is bad, this is good. And you have this, you look at them and have wrist fight. But I don't have time to teach you this. So then I would, I would ask that, that if you're a sweeper, either you step on mount, or even if you're even more beginner and just trying those things, they try to stay on this side control. Yeah, don't jump over, that's a good thing, but not right now. Okay, so what I'm asking you to do, whatever grips even have a, like a, have under underhook, an overhook, yeah, go. Go, go, side control, side control. Oh. Yeah, and now this is a problem, go, go. And now I have to get this back. And we're back here. Go back. And usually with this underhook, there's a big mistake already. I will get it back during transition. So, start with lesser grips, so I have more room here. And now if I have, I do it like, a, like a, during transitions, go. I'm already getting it back, and he ends up having nothing. So, uh, so I will give him that side control and accept, accept, uh, accept that defeat there. So, start with maybe this, easy, start with loose underhook, something else, and then it's, we, we, we can go more complicated versions. Okay, so if you give them more stuff, you're in more trouble also in the end. It's hard to get back from that. So there's a nice correlation with trade-offs. So, baby bridge, let's go. Now we have a context. Now we'll help you more. Everything is wrong. So, uh, so uh, smart thing to do also, and this is, uh, I'm messing with you also, you know, this is how I kind of create a problem and then I slowly start to give you stuff because I'm building context. And then you understand, ah, okay, this, 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 and you need to fail. So, uh, it's fun to give you all the answers, but you don't learn that well then. You need to suffer. <laughs> uh, suffering is good for a soul. Yes. Yeah, talking about the history, yeah? Anyway. Uh, but I want you to do that if you don't understand what the baby bridge is, if you don't get it what the baby bridge is, then you isolate that problem. You go like, okay, let's fix the baby bridge. Let's understand where we have to go. Because if you don't, haven't fixed that, then every, all the exercise is just wrong. You're just doing 10 times wrong. And then your motivation drops because I don't get it, it's hard, it's like, ah, blah, blah, blah. So you do it this to yourself. And I'm making you responsible. I'm making you experience that. That you can do better, but because if you see certain thing is wrong, but have you, right now, did you try to fix the baby bridge on your own as a single exercise? And then try the sweep with this slowly, and you know, two of you fixing that stuff. So you can be like this. You can always do that even if nobody says you have to do it. I can teach you this, but you can go like, okay, let's fix the problem here. What is the goddamn baby bridge? Preet, yeah, there's a question. So uh, this is kind of like a maybe rude way of teaching, but now I'm gonna show you what you should do. Because most of you did just a sweep and it was like, I, I don't understand how this works. So this is a wonderful feeling, by the way. The more you do jujitsu, the less you experience that. Because you, it's, you feel less new things are happening to you. So you, you, you hear all the, uh, sometimes black people saying, I wish I was a beginner, I had those, you know, that I don't know, and those, oh, I learned a triangle. Because I remember still when somebody did the first triangle to me. I know that, I was like, what the hell is that? It was a triangle. <laughs> and then we started with Jiu-Jitsu, you know, I remember that, that there was, nobody knew what the triangle was, and I got choked out, I was like, what the hell was this? You know, they were like, wow, triangle, nobody knew. So, yeah, anyway, so Baby Rich, go. Yes, so now Baby Rich is lowest bridge, Pull the head back, yeah, so, and then push the hip forward, yes. See, it almost was there, but you know, I've done this, taught that much, so I, I know we can push it. So, hip is on a mat, and you have literally as an arch, yeah? So, think about bridge as an arch. You push, and you have it really, even you can feel stretch here, the legs. You pull the head back, so that arch is actually bigger, because that bridge is bigger there. Because this, also this defines which angle you're gonna bridge later, if you wanna really go to a knees. Because if you move your head back, the angle actually goes there. 
super hard to stop. When somebody even has a cross face or gi bribe bar arm, I will still go to my knees. It's very, very hard to stop. So, and you don't have to, what also what happened to you, you don't have to turn. That's overdoing it. So not bad, also possible in some way, but kills the bridge angle there, you have to go there later. But this is minimal you have to do. Just keep your shoulder off the, one shoulder off the mat, this is it. And this is where you land. You can land, I guess, arm here, you can land arm there, you can have them there, just don't let them up, upper body. So this is the shield, yeah? And later this can move, whatever you wanna do with this. But just keep your elbows so there's nothing going under there. Okay, so nobody goes chest to chest here because underhooks are right away there. Okay, and uh, if you have a worse situation sweep, like overhook underhooks, then during the, during the fall you would have to clear this and get it back here. So do whatever you have to right now, just improvise yourself, find techniques your own, you have to, don't have spoon fed all the time, and go like, get your arms back and find a way to baby bridge. And mostly I would recommend after a sweep, land side control. I know you feel like, oh, they're baby bridging, I, I would rather go this side. That is the right thought, but not right now, because the class is about them, not about you. Yeah, so much. But you're already having a good thoughts about how to finish the sweep, you go other side. That's a good op option, actually. But you have to also go through the legs, over the legs. And that also exposes you to different guard pulls. So there's a skill to go the other side, because you get also attached by his hooks and stuff. So it, the trade-off comes with the price. So, I don't, I don't mind the trade-off. Anyway, baby bridge, sorry. Yes. Push it more, in, yes. So, and definitely the head has to be pulled back. And that's the biggest arch you can create. Okay, you do this, fix that bridge, and then do a, like a, maybe loose, thank you. Maybe do a loose, uh, oh, you know, kind of sweep, so they have time to do those things and get them back. You just land like this, and then you, maybe top person, you kind of like, Fix that, okay, and now you're good, you do it. Okay, so you got, we get in the same page about the bridge. Let's go. Okay. So bring it in. Uh, another thing is, uh, uh, I guess people are afraid of cross faces. They're not so bad. Uh, they work more if you're flat and you have specific cases. I take my partner again. So, yeah, so cross face. But ev not every cross face is bad. And uh, not every cross face is functional for him. It looks like cross face but doesn't do anything. So, let's say, uh, here, cross face underhook. Yeah, because my shoulder is stuck here and my shoulder is here. So do the cross face, slowly go. Go, go. This is super annoying, yeah? Very, very hard to do. Only because of this shoulder, wait. If I would have a, wait, I have a hawking here, yeah? Go. Huh? Well, how do you feel? You will. <laughs> like I always feel it. I know. <laughs> so, and also if I have baby bridge, go. Even if I have an underhook. Go cross this. How do you feel? Yeah. I know. So, so that, that cross face, that control works more certain, if I'm certain way, if I'm flat, um, you know, you got my inside arm, and then you have cross face. Other way, you overcommit to that side, I will bridge you, actually. Mm -hmm. And though I, I, I agree that it can be also uncomfortable, but most people will stop doing that. And what happens, lay down for a baby bridge. What happens to most, yes, people, everybody usually goes here, goes, they don't go up, kind of like cross facing here, because it all opens up the single legs, and you know, they can knee to the butt, they push you away, mm -hmm. and then you kind of fall. You cannot have a strength angle. So that grip kind of weeds itself out, and when I said about it, it's about top also. Because now you understand also why crossface works, or when it works, or when to get it. Or, and then I know you have a adaptation, wait, you have a uh, baby bridge? You have adaptation, you can, wait, don't, don't turn much, just do less. Okay. Yes. And you have a gi, you can pry bar and everything. But I will, I think, it's very stupid to say those things usually, but I like them. Uh, because I will launch my size people from here all the time. Even when you have like grips and bright bar, I will launch you here. There's definitely a weight limit, I think, how big be a person I can launch, but your size should be launching right away. This is super dangerous to be here. It looks like you have everything, you're in side control, but without the control and cross face and all those elbows, you don't actually have anything. Just one stiff arm, they're gone. So you learn to, that, you learn to value that, oh, I got their elbow. Wait, I got this, got this, and now they're mine, you know? 
or you get to like, you know, get here, you learn to value those things. So what I'm also, I don't mind those things happen. Thank you. Yeah. But um, my philosophy is that uh, those things has to be earned, not given. Because if we teach people to stay flat all the time and escape from there, that's your main thing to escape, nothing else. That's usually Jiu Jitsu does, mainstream. Frames are flat and then you escape. I think I'm against that and I'm, I'm, I'm for choice. I'm gonna teach you the baby bridge and if you get stuck, you have that, so you have choice of different, like, you know, specter. You can do this very early, you can be late, and you know everything. Without that early, you only have this choice. And then it's not a choice, actually. It's like all you can do. And then what the top guy does is top guy thinks that, oh, I did it. I got the cross face, I got the underhook, I got in flat. What happened actually, they got them flat themselves. And you just take the credit of, I did it. Yeah, and I think it's very bad to be, think you're good in a martial sport where you're actually not. So you have to make them flat. You have to pick those elbows up. You have to fight for the underhook and you have to fight for the cross face. And when they're flat, then you did it and they did everything against it and you still got it. And then you know you can keep people down because they did everything like this. This will be all exposed to you when you meet a wrestler. And then you understand, oh, that's what they do because we accept side control and you know like, oh, we have those frames. And uh, you, you, know, you understand my point. So we, after a sweep, it's still a battle. After a sweep, I just hunt pressure, everything, just make them flat to stabilize for three seconds. And then I get my points maybe, but I expect also that they will turtle. And I think that's normal. And so the normal is I don't get anything after, this, after the sweep. Normal is I expect that if I fall, do a sweep, they get open guard and I get guard top. That's my normal to expect against a good person. And if everything better happens, it stars aligned and I'm lucky. So this mindset is more healthier than to teach you, you get a sweep and arm bar in the end. Because then if it doesn't happen with a good defense, you think it's your fault. Yeah, but it's actually not. It's the way you've been taught. And maybe that would be unrealistic. I don't mind also those combinations, the sweep and armbar, but they have to come with a disclaimer that those things are exceptions and blah, 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 you know? And then your mindset is better. Otherwise you just, I have to, know, you know, you wait for them, they won't happen because there are, they're cool things to do, but they're exceptions. Okay, so, uh, so let's say, so with, uh, with this sweep, like you did first to the sweep, that's an easy sweep to just start with, you know, get the elbow and get the neck go. And then you just ride away, yeah? And then you do this, you can move and get your position and just nothing there, yeah? Usually there's a underhook, but let's not go there right now. Usually everybody goes to the hip. So you can go underhook, then it's harder. If you're higher belt, you can do uh, just, now it's like, I'm not saying if you're a beginner, you cannot do this, but it's harder. And then if you're higher belt, you can train this because your body coordination is better, but it's not forbidden for everybody. But know your level, because you're gonna go a little bit. Yeah, go. See? And now I create myself time. Because now it's just, I'm baby reaching in air already. I'm slowing it down. And I create myself time to react. And then I can fight for top from there or fall from there. So, go. Well, you have to let go. Yes. See? Yeah, well, I couldn't. <laughs> yes. So he was also stuck there a little bit. So to fight for top, yes, maybe mount, jump over, but he has to release the hook, the arm, and then I get my arms also back. So then I'm also fine. So you can do also that. But I would ask you that the sweeper right now stays in this side side control. Don't go to mount or don't jump over. Not bad, not today right now. Yeah, you can keep it under control. It's easier for me right now. Let's go. So, anyway, uh, I messed up the class in a way, but I promised you something that I would drill and we will maybe drill it right now, but it took me longer. It, it, it's not your fault, so to speak, but it took me longer to teach this. So it was more introduction stage. Uh, but now we just, let's drill. I will give you just a little bit exercise before the lunch, lunch, dinner, <laughs> uh, lunch and dinner. 
so uh, uh, your partner does the sweep. He's your coach, he's your tra tra trainer. And he does a sweep, whichever version you want. Probably this is more open, you have easier time to get your arms in. If you give them more, then you have to do that floating bridge and stuff and get your arms in and you know. Anyway, uh, sweeper, you have to make them succeed. Yeah, you have to let them do stuff. Even if you have underhooks and stuff, you have to give, give enough space between and so they can just get everything back and maybe it takes them five steps, I don't care, but you have to make them succeed. If they're better, you can uh, you know, close the gap and do it harder, faster, everything else, but only if they deserve it. So if, I mean, seriously, if they just, if you do a small sweep and they fall like flat, that, and they're like, they're confused, do it very like, I'm sweeping you, and let's go, boom. You go here and they go like, you know, fall. They're usually like this and they're oh, baby. So give them time and you give them, you know, trust and uh, success, even if it's like this, there's no shame in that. Just, you know, that's how you start. And then you slowly, but don't go, poof, and then it's like, fail, poof, fail. And so that's not how you train. You get different emotions than you actually want. So, as an Estonian talking about emotions, yeah? So, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so do the sweep, one side, be a good coach. If they're earning it, make it harder, yeah? Uh, so, and fight for top a bit. A little bit, like mimic the top fight. Put more weight on them, pull the elbow a bit, you know, fight underhook, but don't win. Don't pull it, don't cross face, don't just win. If their elbow is open, you go like, oh, oh, underhook, oh, shit, elbow's here, yeah. So just point out and let them fix it. And you can't teach them. If you tell them that underhook, then they go. But just, uh, I use my partner here. So you teach by doing, not by saying. So, you done? Uh, baby, 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 baby bridge. Yes. So if you see, turn less. If you see something like this, yeah, they're, you know, that's bad, that's underhook. Then you go and go like, ah, you know? But then you land here, and then you go like, you know, underhook, yeah. And then they go like elbow close right away and you fix it. But even like side control, if you see that, if you land like this, then you go slowly. And they get the hint right away. So close, and everything is there. So you don't teach them, yeah, but you show. And now kind of point their, you know, kind of mindset to there, okay? So I give you the two minutes, two and a half, between that, you have also feedback, one minute and a half, to tell top guy, to the bottom person, what was good, what could have been better. Okay, that's the feedback, minute and a half, you don't get more. And then we change and then, so feedback is what I use every class, literally every class when I do classes in, in, in our gym. Every class is feedback, because I can't control you all. I don't see your own in personal mistakes. I need partners to work, yeah? So feedback is what I'm always promoting, promoting all the time. Just coaches should use feedback. Everybody talks about it, but you know, I think mainstream jiu-jitsu is not there yet. It's very that's kind of weird method, so to speak. Anyway, sweep, whatever version, whatever level you are, make them better, don't punish them, and guide them, don't talk to them. Two and a half minutes. I will tell you when, there's, when, the, when you change and when it's a feedback. If I would have more time, then uh, the problem is with always this, not only you, you want to do a lot. And you want to land baby bridge and you want to just almost just turn belly down. But I am asking you, that's the hard thing actually to do. Do less. You just land, and this is enough. Their shoulder is off, and I'm good. But mostly, what all of you, you want to do more. So then it takes a time, a little bit, with training and feedback and everything else, with methods. Just less, less, less. And then we fine tune everything back. Because then we find the lowest point that is acceptable for defense, when things are not worse for me. And then if I flat out, then there's, there's a balance point, then I lose way more. So what's the minimum, yeah? And then we bring everything back. So you find how far you can go to be safe. And uh, there's a big, 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 big range. So that's why I'm always pushing. Early is, of course, better. It's, it's better when you do hook sweep and then you sprawl on legs and don't fall anyway. So we have a very big, you know, big arch to actually defend. You have many, many timings before things go super bad. So, and only thing I can ask you, because I know you're gonna fail when you do sparring, so that's normal. And I don't even mind talking about it because I think we should talk about more because failing is part of everybody talks. And then if I say this, a lot of people are like, you know, they don't maybe like it, so to speak, but it's like, that's how you learn. 
Think about kids learning to walk, yeah? They don't go 50 and try, ah, shit, you know, I'm not doing it anymore, yeah? <laughs> yeah, they're like, they keep going. That's how they, that first is like, you know, this way and then they'll figure it out. So failing is awesome. So what I ask you to do now in, uh, you know, there's a sa Saturday and Sunday, just notice now when you roll. Notice how do you fall. Let yourself get swept or they swept you anyway. Watch how you fall. Now you know. Now you cannot know that. Now you've seen it, and it's very hard to unsee it anymore. So if you land flat and underhooks and stuff, you go like, oh shit, yeah, this was he's talking about. And now everything is hard. So you try to do better. So now you're aware, and now you can make a change. So that's the only lesson I want you to have, that now you know. And it's about you, like, what do you do with that now? How do you develop that? But being aware is the first sign of the problem, and now you start, okay, how to get it back, what to do, what's the frames. You start to build from there. So that was the point of the class, just make you aware that how you land. And now it's weird when you land flat. Ah, like, oh, shit, yes, that's how I do it to myself, you know? So, and then if you get somebody flat when it's very defensive and you get them flat, you know you did it. And also when you now sweep somebody and they don't baby bridge and you get on top, you feel sad. <laughs> because it's too easy. Because you know, like, dude, just, you know, Where's the honor in that? I want to I I fight for it. You just gave it to me. So, you know what I mean? Like, jokingly, you can say, like, it's like, oh, shit, they're flat. But, yeah, they did it to himself, and now I have easier time. So you start to see weird things now. So just enjoy now what comes. Okay? Thank you. We have a dinner now.